Well, I'm about to do a little slaying. I don't know if you guys tried these uh, Guggen uh, seven inch darts, but this is the Pure Passion. It's white uh, with a, it's, it's a white pearl shad. Um, but these things have been freaking slaying for me. I'm talking about, I have yet to be skunked on this thing. Uh, maybe it's just because uh, of the color and I'm fishing clear water. Like this, this uh, big ass pond right here or semi small lake is uh, is super clear. I'm gonna throw in, there's a lot of vegetation in it. So I'm gonna uh, have to hide the hook on this thing. But a lot of people have been asking me how I, if I use a, a, a bullet weight and I do, um, it's just that I want it to go down a little bit farther um, in the deeper sides. I want it to drop a little faster, but the action on it is freaking amazing. I'm also going to be throwing the frog and a jig that I got, a Guggen jig with a uh, Strike King Crawl Trainer. Um, and we'll see how that goes. But this is uh, what this looks like. Oh boy. There you go. And then of course, um, as always, I'm going to be throwing the um, the ribbit top toad, hollow body. Let's see if we can't get a couple of bites on this. Texas bass holes, baby. Let me start off with this fluke. It's a little windy out here, guys. So I'll do that. The action on that fluke is amazing. I'm not filming with my GoPro because I didn't bring it. Uh, wasn't planning on doing a whole lot of fishing today, but I am here with uh, some friends, uh, buddy Byron, and uh, another friend who just another guy we just met today, who is actually from our group on on the Facebook page. So let us throw these things and see what happens. Oh. Got him. What the hell? <laughs> what the heck? More like, I could use this for bass bait. Yeah. <laughs> Texas bluegills, baby. Come on, Senor Fluke. Show me some love. I told you I was gonna catch with this fluke. That's what I intend to do. If it means coming all the way out here into the damn water. Let's see what happens. Starting the shallow first, no? Next to me. It might be, might be one right here, perched up right in front of me. I don't know. Him. On the fluke, boy. Yeah. Yeah, on that fluke. There you go. Texas bass holes, baby. Oh, yeah. All right, let's try that one more time on the fluke. Uh, not like that though. <laughs> All right. Like I said, let's see if we can 
hit the sides first. Oh, already got hit. Oh. <laughs> hit by some moss. Don't worry about my rod in the water. It's only like a $75 combo. That's why I get them so cheap. So that uh, I can beat them, beat them suckers up. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh! Got him! Yep! On the fluke! Texas bass holes, baby! Oh yeah! Check him out, boys! Oh yeah! Edwin's been, uh, he just started fishing today, as a matter of fact, we just met him today, so uh, he's in the group and uh, in our Facebook group and on our YouTube channel, so we're just trying to get him on some bass today. Unfortunately, today not everybody was hitting, but we did get some pretty good bass and, uh, you know, I, I killed it on these uh, bluegills. <laughs> I hit like two bluegills that sucked on the cross, but, um, but I did get end up getting two bass. We're only out here for about an hour and a half, two hours, and we came out here last minute, so... It was a good day. It's always a good day for fishing, no matter where you catch or not, because there's always tomorrow. Texas bass holes, baby. Oh, yeah.